students uh, welcome in your biology class and sapna trivedi students we have discussed about immunity their types of immunity passive active immunity and there is a vaccination program today we are going to start allergy and autoimmunity some important points and there is a, a lymphoid system also clear allergy allergy is what many time we are saying i have allergy of uh, dust i have allergy of uh, this ground nut i have uh, allergy of uh, such are the chemicals okay coloring uh, agents so this things we are daily uh, we are just we uh, listen to our family or either in the society just see exactly what is an allergy an allergy is a uh, hypersensitive reaction what is this is a hypersensitive reaction of immune sense system okay if the person is more sensitive we can be say this is a very sensitive person very fastly he is react so what is that one that a sensitivity is a more so if it is a more so we are used for hyper what hypersensitive reaction of immune system clear now we are just be uh, note down the some points about the allergy if it is a person is a allergy so which type of the substances can uh, give the allergy what the name of that okay which chemical is uh, produced in the time okay how we can be cured it what is the symptoms so this is a basic things when mostly this coming in your two marks question only and they are asking the chemical something in your mcq or the one marks question see what is one. what is that one the substance it means agent which produce an immune response in an individual are called allergen it means allergy just because of some allergen some substances that is called the allergen allergen is are having the types and the types of person having the allergy in a different different type of the agent and the substances allergen allergens we are say it can be pollen grain animal dander okay that dust particle feathers some other drugs like a penicillin okay we see if it is a reaction is going our response is showing by the body so this response by a antibody in a high amount of this one is a produce that is called a antibody so which type of the antibody this is ige okay please note down this ige okay mostly we are asking which antibodies is produced in a allergy process so ige antibodies are produced in response to allergen if it is this thing is attack and contact to the substances so this thing is a uh, produces what is a cause cause well, if it is a allergy started so what the things we will see chemical like a uh, histamine okay and serotonin release from mast cell you know the mast cell in that chapter number 7 animal tissue you will say see there is a having the fibers there is a having a, that matrix well and some are the mast cell so this is a telling about this one. so there is our cell and cell is called the mast cell and this mast cell is produced this type of the chemical and we are showing us some rashes over the body and some are the symptoms we are going to show it. what is the symptom is depend on the according to allergen according to the person symptoms it means sneezing okay continuous sneezing okay that you can be say 30 40 time that person is a sneezing sneezing watch three eyes water is coming from the eyes running nose okay stutters water is coming from the nose and difficult breathing in that time that person is feel inhalation and exhalation process so difficult in a breathing so how we can be uh, solve this problem we are providing a uh, some 
drugs for the allergy person drugs like antihistamine and adrenaline okay and steroids well so if it is a very severe condition so that person can take this type of the drugs to cure or to reduce this allergy so this is the allergy in one marks ige can come this is a question can come they are asking the chemical name they are asking the drugs also to cure of this problem okay autoimmunity what is meaning autoimmunity auto the meaning is called the self okay in our body there is a types of antibodies for specific antigen we are having our well developed immune system to defend to protect the disease clear okay? yeah. so what happened in the time because of such hormonal imbalance and some are the genetic disorder something is uh, suffered by the person that time their own immune system is a uh, not differentiate their own cells okay if they are not differentiate their own self it means self cells so they are eat or destroy their own cells and they are giving a very big problem or there is a big disease or you can be say there is a problem of arthritis and many other disease are so autoimmunity when and abnormal what is this one abnormal immune response abnormal immune response is mean immune response against the antigen for the foreign material but if it is abnormal due to the many reason okay that time they are not differentiate their our own self self in which the immune system of the body starts rejecting rejecting its own body cells its own body cells okay if they are rejecting its own body self you can be says the cell cells and the molecule that time that person is a uh, get some other disease and this disease is a rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis this is a, a very a uh, severe problem when the joint is a uh, going to stiff and that person is feel very uh, difficult to do their daily work addison disease this addison disease is also auto immune response so in examination purpose they are asked the example of auto immunity or they are asking exactly the meaning of the autoimmunity but mostly example so please learn example now student we are going to see we are having the system immune system like we can be say we are having the digestive system so we are having a mouth esophagus stomach intestine and there is a related some other glands all together function for digestion of a food so immune system is also not only the single one and two organ that is a having a some are the organ components so this is a again is a for one marks two marks three marks related questions can be come from this topic okay let's see immune system and when first we discuss component of immune system okay component of immune system this is a lymphoid organ okay which produce a lymph or the lymph cells when that you, you can say lymphoid organ immune cells okay there is a lymphocyte antibodies soluble molecules like <coughs> sorry like antibodies and the lymphoid tissues okay so this is a, a component of the immune system now we see if we want to study this immune system so it's a having a organ it's mean which and lymphocyte is producing how many types of the lymphocytes or the anti bodies is producing by the organ so system consist organ and 
this organ this is you can be said the immune organ categorized into two that is a primary organ primary lymphoid organ and secondary lymphoid organ clear primary it means this is a factory got it where the product is a produced and this is a secondary it means this is a whole cell okay and they are just be take this antibody what it it means this is a, a prime work production related so primary lymphocyte or lymphoid organ it means originate and mature production in the primary or lymphoid organ so in our body we are having a primary lymphoid organ where the antibodies is produced this one is a bone marrow okay thigh bone is a very specific for this and the thymus this is in the our chest bone or the breast bone above the sternum this thymus is a a tissue lobe like tissue this thymus is a big in the childhood but when the child is grown up in the we can be saying the up to the adolescent age adult that time this thymus is are going to reduce it means in the child thymus size is bigger but in adult is small and in the sansenes age old age this thymus is become more weaker that's why we can be say old person is are having the weakened immune response right now covid 19 where did we say that there is a old person having a prone of this disease of a covid 19 why it is so because their immune system is going to reduce okay this is the best example thymus thymus is also very weak that you can be see the reduce if they are not produce a sufficient amount of the antibodies so we can be say so that person having a weak immune system so this is just we extra but you can be say the primary lymphoid organ it means originate and mature antibodies or the lymphocyte what is originate and mature lymphocytes which we are discuss what is the lymphocytes will okay where it is bone marrow thymus okay example we are asking next is secondary when thing is produced it's going in our body okay and in a particular different different parts and they are just mature okay produce here but the maturation in this part and defense mechanism in the time of the antigen attack antibodies is a just uh, start the production so there is a secondary lymphoid organ is a helping secondary lymphoid organ it's mean interact with the antigen okay antigen is come and then they start the interaction and proliferate it means they are produce a more number proliferate they are just increasing the number the secondary lymphoid organ we will see spleen okay lymph nodes tonsils pears patches which we are finding in the small intestine or the last one is appendix okay i am repeating spleen lymphoid nodes is this type of the vessels okay lymphoid nodes okay tonsil which we are finding in our throat region pears patches you can be say it is find in the small intestine okay and the appendix also okay so there is a region where they are interact with the in antigen and proliferation so this is a secondary lymphoid the organ this one we are just discuss little bit more detail okay because it's three months question if it is come so how you will be able to prepare more properly 
one time you just go through your NCRT textbook also so there is a, a little explanation of one and two line but let's see the things about the spleen spleen we are finding in the large bean shaped structure okay in our near the digestive tract and the near the duodenum region it's act as a filter of the blood by trapping of antigen so act as a filter of blood by trapping of antigen it means they are just protect our body against pathogen here yeah. lymph nodes lymph nodes the small solid structure this one the small solid structure okay trap the microorganisms so exactly we are finding in the body there is a, a lymph a lymphoid system that is a having the vessels and this lymph nodes we are finding more in the thigh region and the armpit region got it but what is in function function trapping of microorganism like a antigen in that way and protect our body this is a very important part okay you just note down the last paragraph of this topic mucosal associated lymphoid tissue we are having a respiratory system we are having a digestive system we having a organ inside there is a covering tissue and this covering tissue is mucosa layer and this mucosa layer is also able to produce some amount of the lympho size the cells okay so this m a l t okay so this mal mucosal associated lymphoid tissue this is called the mal it means in our tract region respiratory or either the digestive region so there is a covering tissue is able to produce lymphocytes so this is called the lymphocyte tissue so in our body 50% of the lymphoid tissue in human body is are formed mal to it okay so today we have discussed about the allergy autoimmunity and as well as we discuss about the lymphoid organ and that's types of the lymphoid organ according to their function then little bit discussion of the spleen lymph lymph nodes one and the mal one related of this one you can be say the infection or either if it is a lymph lymph system or the uh, lymphatic system okay if it is infected by the virus so that is a also disease we can be find so lymphoid related dis disease is a aids and aids is mean is a uh, in fact by hiv virus you may know immuno a virus which is are uh, giving a uh, aids zones okay acquired immuno deficiency syndrome so next video is related of the discussion of the aids